Hi guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are talking about Substance Painter 2019.1, the very first official release after they've been bought by Adobe. And it is very impressive to say the least amongst the things that have been made possible or that have been shipped with this present release. First and foremost, the displacement and tessellation is finally here. Yes, of course, you can now do your tessellation and displacement directly in Substance Painter without thinking about if it's going to work or if it's not going to work. You can directly import a displacement map and you can also paint uh, within your height channel and get amazing, amazing stuff in real time directly in Substance Painter. This is something that I've actually looked out for for a long time and it's good to know that this exactly exists now. Another thing that is coming over to the displacement is the compare mass effect. This simply means that you can load multiple height maps and you can compare them, right? So with the new mask effect, you can compare two different materials. You can also check the blending to see if it works or if it doesn't work. All of those amazing features that you would really want to do maybe in comp or maybe when you're shading, you can do them directly here. The, the compare mask is useful for creating quick height blends and you know it works for every other channel as well. Another amazing amazing feature that has been shipped out is the dynamic stroke. Crazy enough we were thinking about this dynamic stroke some few days back and it is very very cool to finally see this exist here in Substance. The way this works is that any Substance file can be used as both a material and also as an alpha and at any point in time that you're maybe texturing or painting the brush itself is also time sensitive and it fades out changes color morphs and you know you can use it to do all sorts of crazy things and to me i think this is another amazing thing that would just help you create very interesting and interesting designs when you're shading and there is a couple of examples that they have here on the blog link is going to be in the description just in case you want to check them out for yourself new projection mode is also another amazing feature that has been shipped with substance 2019.1 and the fact that you can now use uh, a spherical and also a planar projection contrary to the previous time where we had to use uv projection and planar makes it a lot more easier and you know being able to place decals around your object by just merely dragging it around and automatically snaps to the surface is also something that would make your work way more easier and this is not just for the planar but it also exists for the spherical as well substance 2019.1 also ships with radial symmetry and also if you get to take a very good look at the substance uh, new UI you would notice that there is an eye icon now and this is some sort of Adobe input that has to do with the similarity and you know you can find that with what we have in Photoshop there is also improvements with the texture sets which simply means that now you can select all your texture sets at once and you can change the sizes contrary to previous time where you have to select them individually and change the sizes individually now you can make a multi selection and change the entire texture set at once and it's going to help you work a bit more faster there are a couple of new contents that have been made available in this release and you can go ahead and check them out and they range from new brushes to new alphas a couple of filters a couple of generators a couple of procedural tools and also environment and if you want to get more details about all these things i've said i'm going to put a link in the description that will take you to the blog and also to the release notes so you can find these things out for yourself and read them up and tell me what you guys think about this release tell me which of them is the most impressive for you i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section below and if you like this video simply give it a like and don't forget to share it with your friends and also keep an eye on the notification as we'll be announcing the criteria for the giveaway for this month very very soon if you're new here it would be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notification so you don't miss any updates or any news coming from us and until i see you guys again with the tutorial updates news tips and tricks things like this peace